Isaiah chapter 43 and beginning at verse 1. But now. It's always good to start with a, with a but now. Thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name. You are mine. You need to understand something about God. When God claims you, he don't just let you go. Sometimes you end up feeling like you're so far away from God and say, God, I have sinned so badly. I have made so many mistakes. God, you'll never want me back. He said, no, 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 I'll redeem you. I'll pay for you to come back. I'll, I'll make sure I'll go into dark places to pull you. Why? Because I formed you. I made you. You mine. God is possessive. See, it's sinful when we become possessive. It's sinful when we just start saying, we start telling other people, you mine. Nah, uh, you didn't create nobody. You didn't, uh, you didn't birth anybody. That's God. But when God says, you're mine, I'm not just going to let you go. Sometimes your sins can hurt so bad, you want God to let you go. His love will hurt so badly because you say, uh, God, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy of your love. I'm not worthy of your kindness. Sometimes God's love is above your self-esteem. Your self-esteem does not match his love, which is sometimes why we have a problem in our relationship with God because I can't match his overflowing mercy and his grace and I want God to calm down a, a little bit. Have you ever had somebody compliment you and, and speak the word of you but you didn't feel that great about yourself because maybe uh, you've done something that they didn't know and they said, oh, uh, they, they're just the best person in the world. They, they can do no more and they're just wonder and they're just praising you and praising you and praising you and at some point you want to say, hey, I need you to calm down. <laughs> I need you to stop. I'm not. I'm not all that. You know. I'm. I'm just a humble. So, oh no 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 no. Uh, you're you're better than butter. Uh, you're, you're you're sweeter than cheese. Uh, you're, you're 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 awesome. And you say no 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 no. Calm down. Sometimes God's love is greater and higher than your self image and your self esteem. And God can see that your self-esteem is broken. And he says, I don't care. I'm going to love you anyway until I drown you. And then you're going to die. But I'm the resurrection. So I'll bring you back to life. And then love you again and drown you in my love. And then watch you die. And then bring you a rest. Or uh, resuscitate you and bring you back. So I can just keep love. I don't, I don't care if you get overwhelmed with my love. Because I know how to breathe life into dead things. I know how to speak into nothing and bring it back. God, I don't, I don't think I'll ever be whole again. God said, that's a lie, because I know how to go in the dark places and create life. I'm not worried about your self-esteem, your self-image, or, 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 your, or your reflection or perspective of life. Because you're mine. If I don't get anything else in your spirit, if you don't hear anything else about the rest of the message, I need you to hear something about what God is telling you. God is saying, you're mine. You belong to me. So he says this. He says this. He says, I redeemed thee. I called you by name. I don't care. I don't care what other people call you. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't care. You know, you know sometimes uh, some people like to give you nicknames. Some people like to give you nicknames. Uh, but there was, a, there was a person one time. Uh, there was a person one time. Uh, and, and, and they had really kind of just met me and really kind of get to know me. Uh, and they felt so good, they decided to give me a nickname. Uh, another grown man was going to give me a nickname. Another grown man was going to give me a nickname. I'm a grown man. <laughs> going to give me a nickname. Uh, and then, and then would call me the name, and then wanted me to respond. <laughs> and I kept walking. Uh, I ain't gonna say the name. I don't even want you. I don't even want you to repeat. You disrespect, you disrespect me one day. Uh, he called me name, and, and I just kept walking. And then he said it louder, like I called you. And I had to let him know. I said, Hey, no, no, no. Uh, my daddy, my daddy don't, my daddy don't call me that. My mama, my mama don't. My mama, you know, you when you go to your mama, they let everybody know. My mama don't. That, that means you're not allowed to go above or beyond. Uh, I said, No, 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 that's not. That's not, that's not cool, I don't know. 
Brother Williams, really, that's my name. I got that was, those are my names. Uh, <laughs> some other people call me Master, but that's another. That's, another, that's in my dreams. But other than that, <laughs> you're not allowed. You're not allowed to give me nickname. God said, "Listen, I call you by name. I don't care what other people call you. They may call you and they may tell you that you're finished. You're nobody. They may speak down to you." They may take your name and use it with derogatory terms, mm. but God says, I don't call you by the names. Yeah. I call you by the name that I gave you, and I need you to respond yeah. to the name I call you. Yeah. I've redeemed you, which means I, I know what you've done, and I know that you're lost, but I'm still going to get you back. Yeah. He says this. He says, I redeemed thee. Yeah. He says, I called you by name, yeah. so respond when I call you. Some of us, we forgot that we were holy. Holy? Somebody says, is that me? No, no, no. That's you. He's called you to be holy. Yeah, yeah. You forgot your name. To be pure. To be righteous. You are a child of God. But you don't respond to that because maybe you forgot. He says, I've, I've called you by name. And then he says at the end of the verse, you are what? You are mine. I don't care if anybody else try to claim you. They got, then they're going to have to face God. Yeah. Somebody else trying to control you. Somebody mm. else trying to manipulate you. Mm. We all know manipulators. We all know people who are trying to control every aspect here to try to make you do it. No, no, no. I belong to God. I am, I am God's property. Be careful uh, because you're stepping, you're stepping on God's you're stepping on God's property. I'm already taken. Right. Yeah. When somebody try to uh, uh, come and try to control you, come in. No, no, no. I'm, listen, I'm already, I'm already taken. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lower your voice. Mm -hmm. you check somebody. First of all, lower your voice. Because I already belong to God. Mm -hmm. Notice, notice the confidence that that that's in God's tone in the verse. Yeah. Yeah. I redeemed you. Yeah. I called you by name. Mm -hmm. My. If that's not a great love, that's not an awesome love. Look, look at what it says in verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the what? And through the rivers, they won't what? They won't overflow. Someone said, uh, God, I feel like I'm drowning. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed by what you're going through. Yeah. Somebody says, I'm, I'm a Christian. I shouldn't have to go through waters. God said, no, no, I'm going to let you go through the waters. But when you go through the waters, I'm going to make sure that you, that you will make it through. You won't be overwhelmed. Yeah. They won't overflow you. When somebody sees what you're going through, they're going to count you out and say, you can't make it. Surely it's over for you. This is done. You know what they told me? North Colony, we, had, we, we were one week or two weeks old. And I'll never forget, uh, this is 2008, so there was a great recession. Banks were closing, people were losing jobs. One of the things he said is, listen, this is too rough, and this is not even a good time. I don't think you should do this. I said, but sir, we already started. We just need some, some help. He said, no, no, no. You, you don't understand, this is really hard work. Like, like it's gonna, it's gonna, he said, it's gonna cost you a lot. Mm -hmm. I know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of work. I don't think you wanna do it. Now he was on the verge of retirement. Oh, wow. What he said was not a lie. <laughs> he wasn't lying. It's a lot, it cost a lot. The waters will start to come. And sometimes people will say, see, I told you, look at the waters. Isn't it getting rough? I told you not to get in. But if I remember the word of God, it won't overflow me. So I can go through the river. And I'm not going to drown. Because there's somebody. And even if I die, he can what? Jesus says, I am the resurrection. There are some 
stones because they do not have the connection and the understanding of the God that's watching over them. He says, listen, I will be with you through the rivers. They shall not overflow thee. And when you walk through the what? Oh, Y'all don't want to say it. Say, God, you ain't, you ain't tell me about no fire. I was, I was cool with the water. Because I had my little, had my little swimming suit. I can, I can go through the water. But you ain't tell me about no. There, there ain't no suit that you can put on with fire. You know, you, 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 can, you, know, you, you, can, you can carry on with your little raft or something when you're in the water. But with fire, he says, listen, you finna go through fire. If you've been in Christianity any amount of time, you know there's fire in Christianity. You're going to have to go through it. Now listen, I'm not going to stop you from going through it. You're going to have to face it. But here's my promise about the fire. Yeah. I want you to receive this in your spirit. Here's the promise about hard times and difficult seasons. It's not COVID a difficult season. It's not, it, it, it's not this year been uh, difficult for many people. Hasn't it been life changing? And sometimes you step back and say, man, can, do I feel like I can even go on? Sometimes you look at your strength and you say, God, I don't have nothing left. God said, I know you don't have nothing left today, but I got a delivery coming in the morning. Go to bed tonight and you're exhausted today. He said, God, I, I can't go any further. No, 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 you can't go any further today. Take a nap. But when you wake up in the morning, my mercies are new every morning. I do fresh deliveries every morning. You drop down page, that donut shop, they turn on that light every, you know that's fresh donuts every morning. And some of them, some of them, some of them recycle. But, 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 <laughs> shit, this is here, they, they have fresh every morning. He says, listen, when you go to the fire, I'm not saying you won't sweat. I'm not, I'm not saying that you won't be dehydrated. I'm not saying that you won't feel weak. No, the only thing I'm promising you is it's not going to burn you up. I'm not saying you won't be uncomfortable. I'm just saying when you walk through the fire and everything around you is burning, I'll preserve you. Have you ever, have you ever went through a fire and everything you cared about and everything you love was being burnt up and consumed. And God is, God is now redecorating your whole life with fire. When God decided he was going to get Moses, he set the bush on fire. But it didn't burn. He said, that's you. I'll, I'll make sure. I just want to get your attention, but I promise you won't burn. You're going to make it through. Just quit. Because I'll be what? And if you ever want to know my resume, talk to talk to three brothers named Shadrach, Meshach, and Kevin. And again, they, 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 those are my references. You know how you go on a job and they ask you for references? God is saying, hey, listen, I got three references you asked for. Shadrach, could you come in here and talk to him? Mish, hey, I'm in the door. Come in. Can you talk to him and let him know that when you were in the fire, I got in there with you and I made sure you did the burn. He says this. Uh, are we walking the text? Uh, the, the Bible says, neither shall the flame what? Mm -hmm. Kindle? Yeah. It won't kindle upon you. Mm -hmm. Your faith in the promises of God mm -hmm. will bring you through the circumstances that you're in right now. Your sadness, darkness, the idea of giving up is based upon the fire in your environment. And sometimes you have to close your eyes and remember what God said and keep walking. Verse 3, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. I am your what? I'm your Savior. He says, listen, I'm the one that gave Egypt for your ransom. Hmm. Ethiopia. 
It's about for thee. He, he said, you know what? I loved you so much that I, I sacrificed others for my children. Mm -hmm. The punishment you were supposed to receive, I let other people experience it so that you can go free. The trouble that was meant for you, God said, I know, I know how to switch it around. That ticket, that police officer that was coming after you, it just so happened. God touched the foot of somebody else that was riding in front of you and they just went a little fast so they went and got there. It was meant for you. You get to go on home. He said, he said, he said, he said, hey, listen, I'm, I know how to, I know how to preserve you. I, I want you to skip down uh, verse four. Since you was precious in my sight, you have been honorable and I love thee, therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life. You know what I realize? I'm still here. And I promise you, I'm not here because I deserve it. I'm not here because I was stronger. I'm not here because I was more spiritual. I'm not here because I'm more gifted or talented. I am literally here by the mercy of God. There are strong men and strong women that God decided today's over. And for some reason, God decided, but I'm going to keep you around. Somebody said, brother, you don't understand. I'm nobody. I don't even know why I'm still here. I just feel like a failure. I just feel, but you're here and God has preserved you. You're not an accident. He took other people, but he kept you here. He's allowed you to overcome. Stop putting yourself down in the eyes of the God who's in love with you. Stop trying to convince God you're not awesome. You were worth his son dying on the cross. You were worth it. Jesus is not in heaven regretting. As long as you still have breath in your body, you are worth it. You are worth Calvary. You are worth the thorns. You are worth being pierced in the side. You are worth being slapped and spit on. You are worth it. He says, verse 5, Fear not, I am with thee. Now I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I'm God. I love you. Now I'll just get down to verse 10. Just get down to verse 10. I know what you'll notice what he says. Now you are my witnesses, except the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me. He says, have I said enough at this point? Are you witnesses now? Do you, do you believe me? And understand that I am what? That I am he. You know another way to say that? I'm the one. You, you.